The defense for four of the accused in the Senzo Miwa murder trial have written to police requesting further particulars of charges. Advocate uh, Malasela Tefo has indicated in documents that the former Bafana Bafana captain's girlfriend, Kelly Kumalo, should have been arrested alongside the five accused in the matter. He says an affidavit deposed by the leading investigator in the first dockets, Brigadier Geninda, cited Kumalo as allegedly having planned the murder. Tefo has asked police for clarity regarding why an alleged warrant for Kumalo's arrest was not executed. Magdalene Munsami is Kelly Kumalo's lawyer and joins us now to respond. Good evening and welcome. Uh, share with us your thoughts on this letter that Advocate Tefo has written to police. Uh, good afternoon. Uh, I'm not unaware of a letter that has been written to the police. I have seen, I have had sight of a warrant of arrest, which has been unsigned by uh, a magistrate, which is from the 636 docket. I don't have any comment in respect of that, as the authenticity and the merit of that docket, that uh, warrant of arrest can, in my prima facie understanding, realized that indeed uh, there was no arrest on the 636 docket with the five plus herself. And one would wonder why it is in such a piecemeal manner that documents are coming to the fore when they should have been produced and such witnesses or such evidence or a warrant for that matter should have been then produced in the mainstream and not at this point. Uh, Magdalene, let's talk about uh, that original 636 dockets containing uh, this uh, alleged, uh, well, allegedly yeah. containing a warrant of arrest for your client. You, you say you've set eyes on it. It is an unsigned document. When, when did you see this? I, I saw it off recent, just a few minutes ago. I have not seen the docket I've, up to this date. I've not seen the letter. I've only seen the warrant of arrest of which I'm responding to, which has no authenticity because it has not been signed. And for whatever reason, I cannot comment on the responsibilities of the NPA with regard to issuing a warrant of arrest against my client. However, we have been assured from the onset to this point that our client is not an accused, is not a suspect, and will be called in as a witness uh, if she needs to be called in as a witness. So at this point, such a, a warrant of arrest comes as a concern, as does 357, because it seems to be things, it seems to me that things are starting to come out of the woodworks when indeed we are unaware of such. What is your sense then, given these two points that you raise right now, about the quality of the NPA's work in connection with this case? I'm not going to uh, uh, comment on the quality of the NPA's work. The NPA has been clear uh, in court that they are relying on the uh, 636 docket <clears throat> as there was no merit found on the 357 and we will allow for the processes of the court and that that has been admitted by application by uh, Defense for Five on the matter up until that is resolved before we can then move on to the next issues that are emanating in respect of any warrant of arrest. Just two quick things, Magdalene, before we let you go. And, and again, thank you for, for coming on to respond. Uh, with regard to an unsigned warrant forming, uh, you know, the batch of documents then in that initial docket that we were calling 636, is that unusual that it would, it, it would be there? Unsigned? Very unusual, because once there is a a warrant of arrest, one would then have to execute that warrant of arrest. And that execution will come via the signature and the authority of the relevant body that is executing that warrant of arrest. So for me, it's very peculiar that one would find a warrant of arrest um, after the initiation of a trial, which started on the 11th of April, and then a 357 docket which then comes in the middle of a trial, in the middle of uh, examination, of cross-examination, sorry, of the first witness. So for me, I think it is essential that this follows the due process and whatever it is that needs to be addressed in respect of the warrant of arrest and the dockets 
must then be thoroughly analyzed by both the courts and the opportunity that was given for Defense 5. What is this, you know, what is the effect of these, these actions, these events and activities, uh, Magdalene, on, you know, the psyche of your client? The truth is that I've just seen sight of this a few minutes ago. Uh, and because I'm currently uh, in the Western Sahara, I'm in the desert, I gave the opportunity to respond uh, to what I have had sight of. But in terms of my client's psyche, uh, she is unaware of this uh, that I've just discovered. But I wanted to just clarify that it is unmerited, it is unauthenticated, and hence I'm responding to you. Uh, but in respect of herself, she's very well. Um, she's focusing on her tour. And as you know, that she's growing strength by strength, day by day. We leave it there, Magdalene. Thank you very much. Be safe uh, wherever you are. And thank you very much for talking to us this evening. Appreciate your time.